Bumper, you had 11, or I think it was 10 tackles and a half. Um, I guess were you just really raring to go after having set up the first half, or how would you think you played the other night? Yes, I, mean, I knew I had one half to go um, or one half to play, and I was just going to give it everything I had. Um, when I got in there, just trying to bring that energy um, and just honestly excited that I got to contribute to the game with uh, being out with the first half. Okay, I had one more for each of you if, Kyle, if time comes around. Yeah. Trey. Trey. Joe, that play where you jumped over the dude with the stinger splash thing, how much did that kind of set the tone with you guys? And I know you were talked about a lot about, you know, for us it was getting people in the frame, I guess, if you're watching on TV or uh, yeah. but getting everybody to the pile. How important was that and, and how did that set the tone? I mean, it was it was big, you know, for our defense. Um, you know, we got a run and hit mentality. So um just to have 10 guys around the ball, you know, when he was down there, it was it was one of the best pitches you can ever frame. How do you guys carry that momentum and that and bottle up that energy and take it to this next week to to avoid any type of letdown? I mean, you know, we we treated it as, you know, the game is um over. You know, we won that game last week. So we're more focusing on what's coming to us this Saturday, this Saturday and that's Georgia Southern. Nate. Yeah, I guess for both of you, I guess Bumper take it first. Just what kind of stress does this option offense this week that Georgia Southern runs put puts on your positions? Yes, I mean it's gonna um, you know cause us to be you know have to be very disciplined. I think that's something that you know we're um, we got to pride ourselves on this week in practice. Um, everyone doing their job, and knowing their responsibilities. Um, we we saw them uh, in camp. We kind of did a day on them just because it is a different um, style of offense, but. We're very excited about it, and uh, we got another, you know, few practices to really lock in and uh, get it down. Tom, Tom. Yeah, I was hoping Joe could answer that same question from Nate about just the discipline it requires against Georgia Southern. Yeah, like um, you know, as as for the guys on the back end, um, it's gonna be a, it's really gonna be about you know your eye discipline. Um, making sure everyone uh, do their job, you know, filling the right gaps. Um, and that's how we're going to go about it. And, that, and that's that's going to help us win the game um, because they got a triple option. They do a lot of option uh, games. So just for us to have our eyes in the right spot is going to be the biggest key for this game. And then for both of you guys, and Joe, if you could start it, uh, y'all have gotten a lot of praise in the last week. You you know, you're 2-0. and The team hasn't started 3-0 and in a while. Just, um, you know, what what's your take on where you guys are and, and what you have to do to continue on, Joe? I mean, you know, like Coach Pierce said, you know, we're a blue collar chip team. So even though like what happened last Saturday, we we are still the same team. You know, we're we're still working every day. You know, we're we're still working hard because this is I mean, that's just the beginning for us and, and you know, we're looking forward to winning every game. And so for us to do that, we gotta keep working hard. Yeah, yeah, bumper. You know, I would definitely agree. Uh, I think the biggest thing is, you know, yes, that was such a big win for us, but we have bigger goals. And I think that that was just one step in reaching those goals. And so we have to put last week away, um, lock into this uh, next game because it is the most important one. And um, I think this team is excited about the challenge. Scotty, Scotty. Yes, for both guys, I guess, could you just maybe speak to the importance of getting that Georgia, some of that Georgia Southern prep in you know a little bit during camp you know so this this offense isn't all brand new this week and you're kind of having to pack it in just a few days yeah uh that's i think that's one of the like honestly most important things you know that we did uh was getting to see them preview it um at the time you know we thought it was so far away but you know the season comes here and so so quickly so getting to see it just so uh, familiar is huge um i feel like we we know what they're doing and just getting to have a step on a step up on them this week um, we're excited about it. Yeah, I mean, very excited. Um, cause it's like during this week of practice, it's not the first time you know we we have seen the offense. Um, because like Bump said, we did go over during fall camp. Um, with the game being so far away, but now that it's here, um, you know, it's it, it's not hitting us off guard. We we know everything that's coming, and it, we're still working. We still have a, a few days of preparation. Yes, what was kind of the initial reaction when the coaches were like, "We're gonna put in some time." in camp for our week three opponent? I mean, what was the initial thought there? You know, I think it was um, honestly cool to see just that we were building for, you know, 
like I said, we have you know long term goals and just getting to see a team that runs something differently than we'll see all year. Um, you can tell how important it was and how important this week is um, for us to run it in camp. So for us, you know, we're we're looking forward to this week just because we have you know been preparing for it for some time. Yeah, Bumper, you you played with Hayden Henry for a while now. I was wondering what you thought about his his start to the season and his performance against uh, Texas. You know, Hayden Hayden played unbelievable versus Texas, but Hayden's been doing that all fall camp. Um, he's such a, a ferocious player. Um, he will run the ball, hit you as hard as he can. Um, it's so great to watch and fun to watch. Just as him being such a good friend of mine, and you know, love seeing all the success he's had, and it's been a um, Fun playing with him and Grant, just everyone kind of getting in and flying the ball. Bob. Hey, guys, I just wanted to ask each of you about, about John Ridgeway. Just um, what kind of player do you think he is, and what do you think about um, how fast he came back from that appendectomy and what, what he has to the team? Bumper, maybe you could take that and then Joe. Yes, he's a tough guy. I mean, he went to that surgery, uh, came back, acted like nothing was wrong. Um, he's he's so tough, and, you know, I was excited to see him finally kind of get his paws on a quarterback um, just because, you know, with us playing against our quarterbacks with the, you know, uh, not them not being live, he finally got to be let loose. So getting to see that was awesome, and, you know, we're very excited to see what he, you know, can do for us the rest of the season. Yeah, Dan, you know, from from my standpoint, it's it's amazing – you know, to see him do that um, because it opened up things for me on the back end, you know, um, him getting to the quarterback uh, helped me get picks, uh, helped all us get picks. I mean, just seeing him, I mean, like Saturday, it was it was one of the best things to see. I mean, if you saw, I mean, we all witnessed it. So it, it just shows you the, the contribute he, he has to this team. Yeah, coming from Illinois State, an FCS team, are you guys surprised how good he is? Not at all. Um, and you can watch him on tape and you can just see, you know, how well he plays and how strong he is. He's got that twitch to him and it just correlated so well um, into that, you know, into our conference and on his, into this team. Yeah, yeah, thoughts on that, Joe? I mean, just like Bump said, um, <clears throat> he's a very explosive player. You know, he, he moves real fast. Um, and then he have the size as well. So, I mean, it's just like John Marshall being out there. I feel like um, he's the same type of player. Okay, thanks, guys. Craig. Yeah, I was just curious for both guys. Um, anybody stand out to you, uh, running backs, wide receivers, linemen, quarterbacks for, for Georgia Southern? Yes, I mean, they got um, – they have their quarterback coming back. Um, and he's, I think, their guy that makes it offense go. So, you know, we've been preparing um, for him to be in there. But any any guy they have uh, will run it well. Um, they got good backs. You know, they got one back who's pretty big. I think he's probably 230. So, you know, he's a big guy that we want to get shots on. Um, and I think the more we run around, run to the ball and get shots on him early, um, you know, the better for us it will be. Yeah, same same with Bump said. Um, they have the uh, second quarterback coming back in the game. Um, he set out the first two weeks. Uh, he 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 do make that offense go. Um, he he's kind of like the guy that that that'll pull it more. Um, the the other quarterback he he'll, he'll give it off more. I feel like, and so like with with the second guy coming back, I feel like that. I mean, I don't know who's gonna start, but it they're both both of them are, are good quarterbacks. And just going back to the the fall camp where you guys worked on uh, Georgia Southern, do you remember about how long y'all spent on them and and how many days into camp y'all started doing that kind of work? Yeah, it was, I mean, like a day or two. Um, and then I couldn't tell you, you know, exactly when we worked on it. Uh, but it was towards, you know, the end of camp when we had, you know, basically put in all of our installs um, and things like that. Thanks, guys. Last one, Tom. Yeah, you guys are both veterans. What's it feel like the start you've gotten off to and maybe the acclaim and being a ranked team right now? How does that feel? You know, I'll, I'll be honest with you, it, it doesn't feel any different right now. Um, you know, that win was so big, but it's, you know, the way our, you know, we come into practice, it's almost like, hey, restart. Uh, we got a new game this week. All that's great, um, you know, exciting, but we'll, we'll look back on that after the season's over and really kind of let that soak in. But, you know, as of right now, we're, we're really locked in on Georgia Southern and um, this next task we have. Yeah, Joe, what's it like being a ranked mm -hmm. team now? 
Now I agree with Bump. Um, we still have a lot to prove. Um, you know, we're, we're not letting this win um, make us do anything different. Um, we're still on the same path that we've been on. Um, and like he said, we're, we're, we're taking it one game at a time, and the next game is important.